Day by Day, presented by First Community Credit Union. Life is better with community. In agriculture, every season is different. It takes hard work, determination, and passion to keep a farm or ranch going year after year. At First Community Credit Union, we know and understand that passion for agriculture. Our local staff can help farmers and ranchers invest in new equipment, expand their operations, and prepare for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Together, we can achieve success now and for generations to come. First Community Credit Union, rooted in your future. If you told me summer 2018 that I'd still be here, uh, I'd probably call you crazy. But just the way things worked out um, with school, with the people around me, um, with the opportunities that God gave me to still be at this university, get a great education, get a grad graduate degree, play my sixth year, and just be around the guys that I'm around like I wouldn't trade it for the world. Yeah, it's really a neat story. He's worked himself into the best shape he's ever been in here, had to overcome an injury, and really is moving as well as he has since he's been in the program. So we're really looking forward to those contributions on the field. But, you know, he sees it as more than that this sixth year. He sees it as a, the total package. I'm going to have a positive effect on this team in any way that I can, whether it's on the field, off the field. And that's what really makes this a special opportunity for him. Ted's the ultimate leader. Um, he's one of the guys everyone looks up to on this team. He knows what to say. He knows how things need to, be, need to be done. He's personally led me in a lot of ways, on the field, off the field. He's just taken me under his wing and takes the extra time. I mean, that's hard to do. That's hard to um, take the extra step for a younger, a younger guy that might not get on the field. But to go out of your way and do that for someone is uh, such a big thing. Yeah, I mean, having those sixth and fifth year guys really helps us, you know, talking about Ted being a great leader. Donnie Ventrelli, I've known him for my four years I've been here, same with Ted, and just having those guys that have been through uh, our situation, you know, me being a fourth year, they've already done that. You know, freshmen who have been here, they've been really good at helping us, you know, get used to the culture that this team needs to move on and get to where we want to go in the future. Being able to give that wisdom and advice to us and, you know, still me as a fourth year feeling, I feel like I'm pretty old, just still asking those questions and always picking their brain about stuff that I can get better on. Coach Swagger talks about leaving the wood pile higher than you found it, uh, and that just means leaving things better than they were before. Um, and I think that not only me, but everyone that's kind of in my position, six years, a lot of fifth years, understand that, um, you know, we need to set a standard for the guys to follow, for the freshmen now, for the freshmen in six years from now. Uh, you're not going to remember every score, uh, you're not going to remember every game and every play, but you will remember the guys around you. Um, and to be able to mold younger guys and uh, get them to see who they can be as people, uh, I think is a huge step in just the progression of them as not only players, but as, as men as well. You know, Ted's been in the system a long time, probably his third or fourth position coach, and we've had a lot of changes in our defense, whether it be coordinators or schemes or terminology, and, you know, real smart guy, and that, that really helps if you uh, get a good football IQ, which Ted does, and helps make adjustments on the run as you go, and he's a great resource for me and for the rest of the outside linebackers. He's earned a lot of respect from our team. I know when he talks, people listen, and that's one place where he's really grown. He's gonna really challenge guys to do the right thing, and before he did it at, you know, maybe more by example, but now he's grown into the role that he'll pull guys aside and talk to them and really challenge them to be great in all aspects of their life. When you look at leaders on a team, any sports team in any aspect, it's players that make a huge impact on the field, on the court, on the track, wherever it is, I think that those are people that are easy to follow. Uh, they have a lot of influence, they have a lot of, they're high profile people. Uh, and I wasn't one of those guys. Uh, you know, I didn't really play a lot until last year. And I think that due to that, it was something that I understood where it was like, hey, where can I make a difference? 
how can I lead? Um, and a lot of it was in the weight room. It was out here when we were conditioning. Um, it was off the field, it was stuff like that. It was in Bible studies, it was through FCA. It was certain things like that. And just finding different avenues where I can pull guys along, lead them in the right direction is something that I try to challenge myself with. Um, and I'm thankful that I did. You know, a lot of it took me out of my comfort zone. A lot of it was things that I hadn't done before, um, but I'm thankful that I did. The opportunities were there, and it was a matter of just taking a step and doing it. Um, I think that a lot of people fall into the trap of, of having opportunities but not actually going for it. Whether it's fear of failure, fear of um, what you have to do, fear of what people will say, um, that was something that I just really had to shut out. He's a gritty guy, and he, he always likes to do something out of his comfort zone. He likes to go the extra mile. He's someone he can talk to and figure things out, because that's a hard thing. Is, when you don't know what you want to do, but just trying new things, and he's all about trying new things and doing everything. Again, a high level of maturity that he brings to the that he brings to the meeting room and, and brings to the position group. Well, I think to change the environment always helps that you know guys have to play under different conditions maybe the sun in your eyes the grass a little bit different than the turf you really got to sink your hips to play on grass surprisingly some of our guys haven't practiced on grass or played on grass throughout their high school career so we want to get out there and change the environment because we know we're going to change it when we get on the road and we're going to change it maybe a day we're going to have wind sun's going to be in your eyes on a punt or a kickoff to start the game so we got to get ready for all conditions Playing outside is such a, it's a change up. That's why the, that's kind of why we're doing it. I mean, we don't want to be comfortable playing in, inside all the time. Um, playing outside on grass, change of scenery, and it affects your focus. And you just got to um, lock in through those things. So getting that kind of change of work in and practice, it's good to uh, lock in on those things. I mean, when it comes around the second week, you know, first week's easy, a couple days, going through everything, you know, you're excited, all the juice is up. But, when it comes to those second and third weeks, I think really leaning on your teammates, you know, uh, in, in our group, tight end group. Uh, Jaden Norby does a really good job uh, bringing our energy levels up and all around the team. Coach Fron is just, he always brings the juice, which is always good. New addition, Coach Kirkwood, he's always out there running around. So it's really leaning on the guys next to you to help you push you to get through days. And that stuff's really contagious that you can push on to, you know, people in your group or people around the team to really get us going through these days. You're working to earn a spot and it becomes more clear the more practices we have. But we also know it can change. That's why we don't want guys comfortable. We want guys really playing and practicing with a sense of urgency. And you know, whether it's a special teams drill, an individual position drill, whether it's seven on seven, one on one, all those things have a sense of urgency. And that's how you move up the depth chart. That's how you keep your spot on the depth chart. And that's how you're ready to com you know, really contribute to the team effort. Coach always talks about the team. And you know, every unit comes together at the end of the year to do something special. So, uh, you know, everyone's got to do their part. Uh, energy on and off the field, you know, sitting with each other at lunch, dinner, uh, getting to know our teammates. I think that's going to be really important. The closer the team we are, the more trust we have in games when we're down 16, 17, however many points it is, to really trust each other in those moments and really battle back and do what we need to do this season.